Hi, this is Dr. Shannon Wong in Austin, Texas. I'm going to demonstrate improper and proper eye well insertion of a technostork lens implant. Here we're loading the technostork lens implant into the insertion cartridge. The leading haptic is in proper position. The trailing haptic also is in proper position. We insert it, in it into the platinum insertion device. And we begin to deliver the lens into the capsular bag. The leading haptic goes in nicely. And at this point, the trailing haptic is now in the eye. But the top of the trailing haptic is on top of the insertion tip. And the insertion tip incarcerates the trailing haptic between the cartridge and the metal insertion tip. And it amputates the trailing haptic. There's a notch in the insertion tip of the platinum inserter that did not capture the trailing haptic. So we use cutting instruments made by microsurgical technology. We place two cuts with the eye well cutter and the eye well grasper. These cuts extend to the center of the optic and we usually take about one quarter of the lens in a pie shaped piece. Once we remove this one piece of the lens, we're able to remove the entire lens through the original primary incision without having to widen our primary incision. We simply rotate the lens implant, which is held by our IOL graspers. We rotate this lens, lens implant in a clockwise manner. And it comes out very nicely. This technique allows us to not have to cut the entire diameter of the lens optic. We then take our replacement Technus Torque lens. We insert it into the cartridge in the usual manner. We try and place the trailing haptic over the optic. Then we place it into our platinum inserter and we look at it through the microscope. Here the tip of the inserter is pushing on the optic and the trailing haptic is still on top of the in inserter tip. So we back out and kind of double clutch and then make sure that the trailing haptic is captured by the grooved tip of the inserter. Because the entire trailing haptic is now in front of the tip, it is very unlikely that the trailing haptic will become incarcerated into the tip of the insertion cartridge and it's delivered safely as shown here.
the haptic is in the tip of that metal piece that is used to push the implant into the eye. We then rotate the lens into proper alignment, remove all the viscoelastic, and this patient did quite well. So this demonstrates proper insertion of a acrylic lens implant using the AMO Platinum Inserter. Thank you for your time and attention.